Yes, dear students, here we are discussing the concept of torque. In last video, I was able to drive to equal to x f y minus y f x. Actually, due to space problem, the recording stops and uh, something left. So today I will start again. To equal to x f y minus y f x. What are x and y? Coordinate of point P here. In this figure, <coughs> force F would actually be constant to move in XY plane the same way. Take uh, 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 the view of uh, diagram drawn in last video. A body at point P is for my force F. Due to this force, the body is able to move in XY plane. <coughs> x, y are the coordinates for point P. Here, this is fx, component of vector f along x-axis and f, y is the component of vector f along y-axis. Here, actually, uh, components, I have told you, Cartesian component and polar components. <laughs> fx and f, y are here, Cartesian component. F R radial component of force along radius outward and F R this is F theta angle or tangential component of force. You will become familiar. Actually, you are learning first time, so you may feel some difficulty. Here, X Y are the coordinates of you know, point P. X F Y minus Y F X. X is the prime distance of line of action force Fy. In last video I told you that this is one torque which is equal to product of magnitude of force and perpendicular distance from point of rotation O. This is another. Xy rotate anticlockwise and Yfx rotate clockwise. Whoso is greater, the resultant effect will be that. If this is greater than this, then ultimately body will move, move, move clockwise. Now, <coughs> here torque is in uh, Cartesian components of position vector and force vector. Hmm. X, Y are the magnitude of components I mean, of position vector along X, Y axis. Now, in figure, if you see, this angle theta, this is also theta, this is phi. What is phi angle? Uh, phi is the angle between x axis and directional force. Line of action force is this. So phi is this. So it will be totally phi, it will be phi minus theta, vertical with angle equal. So this is phi minus theta. This whole angle is phi, this is theta. So this will be phi minus theta. And vertically, if the angles are equal, so it is phi minus theta. Now, <coughs> in this figure, you can see x upon r cos theta. Now, from figure, x equal to r cos theta. And y upon r sin theta. y equal to r sin theta. Now, component of force along x axis, fx, since this angle is phi, so what is fx? f cos phi, fy, f sin phi. This angle is phi. Please, uh, if you are not sure how to find component P, Read the resolution of vector and learn trigonometry. Be even a student of class 12, I, I, I am sorry to say, are, are unable to tell what is, what is cos theta, what is sin theta. Remember, based upon hypotenuse cos theta, perpendicular upon hypotenuse sin theta, perpendicular base tan theta. Now, this angle is phi minus theta. So, radial component, fi is called. Radial component, the component will be f uh, cos 
फाइव माइनस थीटा एन एफ थीटा पेन जेन कंपोनेंट हम टू टू राइट इट एफ टी एज माइन टू एफ साइन फाइव माइनस थीटा एक्चुअली टोर्क इज वेरी वाइड टर्म इट कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड इन मैनी वेज नॉट ए सिंगल वे है भाई सो प्लीज टेक केयर ना फुटिंग दिस वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स वाई एफ एक्स एफ वाई इक्वेशन वन क्या मिलेगा आपको है भाई यू विल गेट टो इक्वल टू एक्स एक्स आर को सीधा एफ वाई एफ साइन फाइव माइनस वाई आर साइन सीधा और एफ साइन फाइव एफ एक्स एफ को साइव बेसिक जीनोमेट्री इट वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर अस सो वी मस्ट टेक केयर ऑफ टिक्नोमेट्री एक्चुअल क्लास इलेवन टिक्नोमेट्री इज टोट सो फास्ट दैट स्टूडेंट आर अनेबल टू लर्न नाउ वी हेर टो इज कॉल टू आर एट कॉमन आई वे राइट साइन फाइव को सीटा माइनस को साइव साइन सीटा I hope you remember this thing. What is this? Cos A, no, sorry, sin A, sin B, sin sin A, cos B, cos sin B. So what is this? It is equal to sin phi minus theta. <coughs> Here I I write this one. Now, what is f sin phi minus theta? F sin minus theta is f theta, or mental torque equal to r f theta. This is the mental torque in terms of polar coordinates. F theta is the tangent component of force and, and r is the position vector i told you if two two components are there which are one along radius another along tangent so they are both polar coordinates here torque is in the uh, polar coordinates now you can see here what is r because this is f theta and again this tell you That torque produced by force equal to magnitude of force multiplied by perpendicular distance of line of action from point of rotation. Or here I will tell you just axial. In fact, point of rotation uh, also has axial rotation. But I am not clear. Again here we can say that magnitude of torque. magnitude of torque is equal to product of yeah uh, is equal to uh, magnitude of force magnitude of force multiplied multiplied by distance oh line of action of force multiplied by distance of uh Line of action of force from point of rotation. A 
a wheel always rotates about a common point and uh, if we imagine a line passing through common, that point about which rotate that is called axial rotation <coughs> that is called axial rotation okay so for a given force if r is increased to increases if we keep the force same and increase distance r then <coughs> torque magnitude torque will increase that is why to open hard nut we use spanner of long arm due to this in the door handle is fixed uh, farthest from the hinge agar ye aapka door hai yahan par hinge hai aur ye door hai so handle is clear so that this when you apply force outward this distance r large distance need is more force to produce necessary torque है ना तो टू इंक्रीज द मैंगुलर फोर्क वी हैव लार्ज वैल्यू आर आर हेयर आई टोल्ड यू आर सो कोल्ड है आई मीन फोर्स आर नाउ अगेन इक्वेशन टू यू कैन सी इन फिगर हियर इज बी व्हाट इज बी दिस इज अ परपन डिस्टेंस of line of action of force from acceleration b is equal to perpendicular distance of line of action of force f and from figure b equal to r sin phi minus theta in this triangle this is phi minus theta this angle is phi minus theta this is perpendicular 90 degree angle i have drawn perpendicular cone has to is sin phi minus theta so if i use r sin phi minus theta here as b and using this uh, using this value using this value in equation Rho equal to R F sine phi minus theta. R sine phi minus theta equal to B. So we get Rho equal to B into F. B into F. Again, the same thing. The magnitude of torque about acceleration is equal to the Product of force and magnitude of force per distance of line of action of force from acceleration. Dear student, so many things come. Actually, this mechanics part we were taught in class 12 in mathematics, and there were two papers: one dynamics, another statics. We felt very hard that at that time, but now. i would understand it after a good effort and i have understood very well so please listen me carefully what i say torque produced by any force force f next now that depend f into b larger the value of b greater the torque for a given force now if b is zero when b will be zero this value b 
is the firm distance of line of action goes from acceleration. If we change this angle, phi, decrease phi, at some time, if V0 then force F acts along radius. Force F acts along radius and torque will be 0. If V equal to 0, then line of action of force passes through <coughs> point of rotation, point of rotation. Hence, uh, and when V zero, the torque zero, and also then force equal to zero. Means if force acts along radius. And which component is there which acts along radius? FR. FR is a radial component. The radial component of force does not produce torque. Actually, I want here, now it's torque zero. So we can say here it means, it means, if force X a long radius a long radius then torque produced is zero. You will get many cases where you have to find out which force is able to produce torque. So remember, if line of action of any force, if line of action of any force passes through acceleration, then no torque will produce. And therefore, now here, again, if force act is not acting along line of action, uh, along the line when passing through the center, then FR and F3 are two components. FR acts along radius, and hence we can say, Radial component, radial component of force does not produce, does not produce torque. If you are uh, studying my video, then it means you are serious. Actually yesterday, or every year we meet students. Uh, they say we are election class 11 will work hard. This syllabus of class 11 will help you understand the physics of class 12. And moreover, in every competitive exam, question comes from class 11, 50-50, from 12. So please be serious and learn properly. And write these all things again in your notebook, think over it and then try to derive the things yourself. Only then we can say, the radial component of force does not restore. I told you here that was equal to R F sine phi minus theta. This is, this is angular component. This M component will be maximum. When phi minus the 90, by if phi minus the 90, you get force along tangent at the time. The force at along tangent. So we produce this component to torque F theta. This is RF theta. So it is the tangential. Tangential component of force which 
producing or so to produce maximum torque for a given force arm to produce maximum torque for a given force arm the force should act along tangent so to produce maximum torque for a given force arm you understand now force arm distance uh, from the sense of dimension from and rotation uh, the force F should act at right angle to position vector. Ah, force tangential component produced, you know. So now I will take next thing in the next video. When anything are left still, so I will take this next video. Please continue. Continue.